Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. In this video, I want to talk about an amazing library or just a CSS file. I would not call this as an amazing library, but CSS. And some of you might be wondering why such videos. Now recently, I was in Bangalore, which is like a Silicon Valley of India. And I got surprised that when I talked about the few libraries that I was using for my clients with some experienced developers, they got amazed by it and they said, hey, we can also use these libraries. And instead of reinventing the wheel, we would like to use them. So it made me realize that there is so much that I can share with all of you guys, that there are so much. Internet is full of amazing libraries and NPM packages and Android libraries that you can use in your project and can make your project much more awesome. So in this year, you're going to see a lot of such videos where I'm going to be talking about my favorite libraries, CSS stuff that is already there on the internet. Internet has got some amazing things. I'm not talking about the YouTube comments, but yes, there is a lot of amazing things that you can use. So without wasting any more time, let's start with today's one. Today's one is an awesome clicky button. And not I'll be just talking about it. I'll open up my editor and we'll show you how basically you can use them. It's so simple, so retro look, and it looks just awesome. So let's go back onto my computer and talk about this awesome clicky button. There are so many amazing things on the GitHub that sometimes we don't realize that they are available for free to use. And recently I used this in one of my clients project. It looks so dope because it was kind of a retro look ish thing. And these all buttons are so easy to click. Now, yes, you can do that already in the CSS, but why to just reinvent the wheel when there is such thing available. So what I can do is show you quickly by firing up my atom and just load up a new folder here which is empty don't worry about this ds store this is kind of a mac ish thing so i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to save that here uh, i'm going to save that in my video and i'm going to call this as index.html and there we go looks pretty good and let's just have a boilerplate code there we go and we need one more file here so command new and command s and this is going to be simply css so i'm going to call this as pushy uh, dot CSS because all the push button code is going to go here now the first thing is to link it up here and that's going to be super easy so link colon CSS and in case you are wondering how this is all magically happening go ahead and take my free course on Emmet by which all of these things are happening uh, so quickly I love it so pushy okay now uh, these things are good but we need to just have a division to just walk through with the things so div dot container and I'm not using any bootstrap, but still I'm gonna be aligning things a little bit here. And I'm gonna have a just H1 for here for a time. And I'm gonna say, hey, just like that. Okay, so save that. And it's time to just open up. I could have used a live reload, but you know what? Uh, this is how it looks. So we need a customized CSS, obviously. So command N and we're gonna save that. I'm gonna call this as style uh, dot CSS. There we go, time to link this baby up and where is our index file why are you opening up okay and after this pushy i would like to have my css file so if i make any changes these also do appear otherwise pushy will just override them so makes sense so link colon css and there we go and obviously we're going to call that style.css so let's just grab this container and edit a few things into it so we're going to go into style.css and dot there we go caught you and now we can just have a few things uh, first thing that I would like to have is background color. I would like to pick the color. I'm always worried about the color. So I've got this one. I'll choose this guy. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is the project that I did on fun stuff. Learn code online dot in slash flat color picker. So go ahead and grab this guy and paste a color. It should look pretty good. And there we go. Not so awesome. It will look awesome. Just trust me. Now, first of all, I'm going to change the color to be awesome and it's going to look awesome on white save that go back here looks pretty good now we want to change the height of this guy as well so let's just grab a 500 pixel for this demo and um, looks pretty good now i want to align that so i'm gonna say uh, display of flex big fan of flex because it's so easy let me tell you why and this is because uh, i can have some things like justify content at center and you know what automatically just shift it to the center I can also give it one more guy, align item to center. And it's so much pain to align these things at center is just like that, but flex just did that. Okay, now let's go back into index.html and we don't need this, hey, we just need a button. So we're gonna call this button here. There we go. And nice button, we're gonna say click 
Or I can say my name, that's not bad. Or I can just do a simple uh, learn code online. If I can type that correct, dot in, of course. And if I reload that, eh, doesn't look that good. But you know what, uh, what you can do is you can just go grab it here, some CSS files here. So go into the CSS folder directly. You can either grab CSS from this, uh, if you want to do some customization further into the buttons, uh, you can just grab this file. Just click on the raw and uh, grab this one. Uh, makes sense if you want to make some changes, so I'm gonna grab this, but in case you are not looking up for any changes further into this existing library, uh, you can always grab this minified one and just works like that. So let's just go ahead and grab this pushy one. So there we go. So now pushy style CSS, not need to worry about anything here. Go into the index.html. Nothing is gonna change because we haven't implemented that pushy thing. Now how you can implement it is already being, it's so simple. Uh, you have to just add these classes. So there are a couple of classes and a couple of buttons being available here. For example, the buttons are available for blue, uh, green and red. Obviously you can override the color, no big deal. And the default classes is btn and btn dash dash diff or lg because there are so many uh, like size of the buttons available. Let's just go ahead and grab this class and there we go, that's it. That's it, and you have got a nice retro look for you. So if I just hit a reload, notice how it looks, the clicky, clicky button. I, I like the CSS, this clicky, clicky. Now, yes, uh, we can do that pretty quickly and easily in the CSS, but I believe, I firmly believe, if there's already a wheel, don't reinvent that. Invest your time in making this much more, uh, more awesome uh, than what it ag already exists here. So go ahead, just grab the CSS, not a big deal. Anyone can write this small CSS and in case you have taken my a complete front-end developer course at Learn Code Online or somewhere else, obviously you can do that, no big deal here. But I like this and there are so many such libraries that I really want to share. And obviously one more thing, I won't be sharing you the files, exercise files of this such small project. There is no sense of uh, sharing such small files, so please don't ask me for that. You can just pause the video anywhere you like and just can copy and paste that. All of my videos are always in 1080 HD. So that's it, and I'll surely catch you up with another some awesome libraries that I really want to share with you guys. That's it, I'll catch you up. And yes, by the way, in case you haven't just watched my complete front-end developer course, link is in the description as well as here on the screen. Go ahead, watch that, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you up later.